Now, if you've got around 20 grand to spend on a utilitarian 4x4, then the second-hand Land Rover Defender has always been the one to buy. But now, there's a simple off-roader that costs about the same, the new Suzuki Jimny. Can the budget Japanese underdog match the famous workhorse ability of the Defender? Well, I found the perfect pair of 4x4 fans, and we're going to find out. I am a Land Rover nut. I've actually owned four of these back-to-back, -back, and this particular one, it's mine. I, on the other hand, want to champion this, the Suzuki Jimny. And this new version here is the first brand-new car I've actually spent my own real money on. So, we're going to do three tests to see whether the pocket-sized Suzuki really can stand alongside the established 4x4 King. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Little versus large. Absolutely. We're starting with a gentle drive around the quiet streets of Bedfordshire, looking at comfort, build and drive quality. And me and my Land Rover are up first. You are now sat in automotive royalty. They've been building this since 1948, and it hasn't really changed. Yeah, it looks very dated, and the ergonomics could do with a tweak. People were obviously a lot shorter in the olden days. What do you think? <laughs> this is it. That, that is it. Is this, that is, is, you, that, is, that it? is you. What? OK, well, that right knee is already chafing on that. This left knee is touching it. It's hugely flawed. It's <laughs> I. It is. As standard, they don't come with a radio, which is why you've got some aftermarket nonsense in it. And the uh, hazard warning light is from a Rover 800. And that stalk is from a... Like a marina. Yeah. Do you know what they're from? They're from a Defender. No, they're from a Rover SD1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are, yeah. It's a hand-built car, Johnny. It is a hand-built car. So, it's been cobbled together and it's quite an uncomfortable ride, especially if you're over six feet tall. It doesn't seem to have much going on under the bonnet, either. So what are we talking in terms of performance? 0-60 in 14.7 seconds. Oh, that doesn't sound brilliant now that you've said it out loud. Top speed, 81 miles an hour. 81? 80. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that the only way I'm going to win Johnny around is by letting him get behind the wheel of my pride and joy. Those interior door handles, they're off something old and British. Crikey, the brakes aren't very good, are they? MPG, actually. Can we talk about that? I'd rather we didn't. Yes, OK, I admit that with an average of 28 miles per gallon, defenders have a bit of a thirst. But after a few miles, I think Johnny's starting to warm to it. Do you know what I am enjoying driving this? Yeah. I, enjoy, uh -huh. I, am, I am, I am. See, the awkwardness, what is it character It for? is character building. What is charming is it, it is a classic car that you can drive every day. I'm not going to lie, it's better than I thought. But when it comes to road driving, I think my Suzuki will have the edge. Let Jimmy meet Jimny. 87 mile top speed. So it's a little bit faster than your death. There's no escaping the fact that this accelerates faster, is newer, isn't cobbled together out of random bits, and has some nice in-car features, like heated seats, which I wanted to show off to Jimmy. Have you... You... <laughs> you... <laughs> Where is it? You have to find it. Oh, it's here. You have it's to there. find it. <laughs> it might be seven years younger than my Defender, but it's still not without its flaws. What was that I just heard? That was the engine. That's 102 PS, screeching. Is that going to stop? That's it, we're in final drive now. It's 4,000 RPM at 60. Have it's you ever simple. taken yours on the motorway? Yeah, it's a commitment. I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit of a commitment. So after an hour cruising around, what will Jimmy think of the Jimny? Johnny? Yeah. The yeah. noise that... What, the engine? With that horrendous noise, what's yeah. this doing a 0 to 60 in? About 12 seconds. All right, so it's faster. Faster. Brakes are sharp. Brakes are very sharp, thanks for that. Yeah. So, first impressions are done. It's time to find out which of our four befores has won the first round. OK, braking. Oh, way sharper. I mean, this doesn't barely have brakes. No, vague as hell. Then we've got handling. I would say this is more comfortable. It's a smoother ride. Yeah. Daily use, that is way better. Yes. The underdog, one, the icon, zero. But now we're moving firmly into proper 4x4 territory and testing one of the key skills, towing. No room for Chelsea tractors here. They must be capable of real work. In order to be a good towing car, yes, you might need grunt, but you also need manoeuvrability, 
and visibility. And that's why I've put horse marks on the back of your Defender and I've devised what is known as an auto test. Expansive tarmac, many cones. You're going to start there where those cones are, slalom in and out of those cones onto the four cones together. Two revolutions. You're going to reverse the rig into the faux garage area and then make a mad dash for the finish line, which is that line there. Johnny may think it's all about agility, but I'm convinced that my Defender's brute strength is going to clinch me a well-easy victory. This test is all about pulling power or torque. And I've got 359 newton metres of the stuff, compared to Johnny Smith's weedy 130. This test is over before it's begun. Come on, then, Johnny! Three, two, one, go! He, by now, has my accelerated and I am already in second gear. Now, not the greatest turning circle. Even so, it doesn't take long to get used to manoeuvring this big old beast. Another revolution, and then he's going to go on to the virtual garage. Now, this is a little bit of Johnny Smith perversity, parking it in a garage. If anyone does have a horse book, you are parking it in a garage. You need to seek medical help. Now, this is going to be tricky for Jimmy. I hope, because it's my only way I might win. Oh, don't hit that cone. Do not give Johnny Smith the satisfaction. That's uh, looking all right, to be fair. He's working well under pressure, damn it, you ex soldier, you. We are in the garage. To the line. Let's have some talk. Second gear, come on, all the way. And stop. What's he got? What's he got? The 80 stopwatch never lies. One minute, 14 seconds. Not too shabby. Come on, then! Ooh. That garage is not fair. <laughs> I can't see! I know, you can. You, you did better than I thought, actually. One minute, 14. That sounds a bit good. This is a good car, Johnny. I've been trying to tell you. Yeah. It's got character it and it goes. Yeah, it does go, actually. The grunt is there. Now it's time to see how my Jimny compares. It might not be all talk, but it does have some good things going for it. The Jimny is narrower and shorter. 15 centimetres narrower than the Defender and half a metre shorter. Oh, I've also got pretty good rear visibility. So that's a good thing, right? Three, two, one. Right, prepare yourself for some serious boredom, because that is going to take him a very long time. Come on, Jim, you can do this. You're a giant killer, man. You're a giant killer. Oh, you, oh, you naughty. I'm feeling the back shimmy right out. I'm clearly much more nimble around the turns. Time for a quick reverse park, and I'll have this all sewn up. He's jackknifed it. He's jackknifed it. Oh, you <laughs> oh I've overcooked that. What an absolute flute. That's horrible to see. That is horrible to see. All that visibility. Can't quite see. Oh, you this is panic setting in now. It's not working. Why is this not manoeuvring? It's like it's got no weight. As the seconds just painfully just drift away there. 114 to beat, and he's barking. Go, 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 go
I'm still in high range. Yeah. I'm off the throttle completely and I'm just using a little bit of brake. The gearbox has both high and low ratios, which means it can use lower gearing for better off-road ability. Yeah, that's good. It's not it's breaking not, a sweat. We're not even sweating, Johnny. No, I am. It's, it's not. I am. So let's have a little feel of the suspension. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, my knee. Do you like that? My knee did that. Everything else did. Oh, you, you absolutely. It's to feel friendly now. So you're just getting the feel of it now. I'm going to go low range now. OK. I'm not going to lock my disc, because we're just going to ease ourselves wow. nice and gently over this. These move. I've they, just... Yeah, these are... So we're going over loose... Ooh. Oh. Now, we just lost traction for the oh. first time. I'm going to wind the window down and have a gander. Hang on, I'm backing I'm up. I'm just going to touch that now. Are you ready? Yeah, your mud flaps are dragging. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, we are getting movement. This is impressive. Oh. We spin oh. it you haven't ground out. So on the Defender, yeah. I've got 315 millimetres of clearance. Yeah, yeah. I've got a 51 degree approach angle, and I can yeah. wade in half a metre, 50 millimetres, comfortably. Oh, I reckon. Without I really that. worrying about it. We're going to go faster windscreen wipers. Please, come in. We're going to get third gear, Sugar and plum. then you've got to oh, Jimmy. 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 I thought we were going to kiss the trees. <laughs> Obviously, the Defender makes easy work of the piddly puddles, but when it comes to the more serious business of wading through larger bodies of water, best err on the side of caution. What do you reckon? I don't really know how deep that is. There's one way off-roaders check how deep things are. Like a plank of wood and a Come dip, on. dipstick. Get out. Sometimes you've got to get a bit hands-on and trousers off. Don't make this weird. You're actually going to take your clothes off. Some things have to be done. Oh, seriously. Seriously! <laughs> That's quite deep. What are you thinking? I'm thinking it's going to be fine. Yeah? Back in the car. And we're just going to ease it in, Johnny. This feels deeper than it ought to. Water's coming in. Water's, oh, water's coming, in. coming in. It's a land room. Look at this. Beautiful. Enjoy the view. We're, I mean, we've got a little bit of water in here. There's loads coming in through the tailgate. It's coming out the doors. Just open the... I mean, it's just a touch of water, oh, Johnny. Oh, so romantic. It's a proper off-roader, I'm telling you. That was impressive, that was good. Come on, let's go and get the gym in. All right. I've got to admit, the Defenders dealt with the off-road course impressively, but I'm pretty confident that my more diminutive Jimny can hold its own, even with Jimmy drying out his wet pants on my heated seats. I'm not even breaking a sweat, obviously. So we're in four-wheel drive. Oh, drive. Bear in mind, this High is range. this is um, an auto. I would have liked to manual mine. The one I bought is a manual, and it's a nice box, too. Yeah, we've got a button here, which is descent control. So I guess I can just deploy that. I can turn traction off if I want. It's going to let off and let creep, creep the auto. Let's see what it does. It looks like I'm going too quick. Yeah, it was fasted. Can you see it's using the ABS? Yeah, no, it's just, so it's just using can the ABS. Can you hear it? But yeah. Pulsing away. Yeah. Should I stay in normal? Tell you what, Johnny, you're driving. Oh, I'll leave it. You've, you've, you've primed me. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yeah, I just went over a little hot. Uh, the rest of it's absolutely uh, fine. See, that's, that's actually good. I'm going to put it in low now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Like the Defender, this gearbox comes with selectable low range for maximum off-road performance. Lower gearing mode gives me more low speed torque for better pulling power on steep climbs and loose surfaces. And you're happy with this now, Johnny, because I don't mind. You can bow out at any moment. No, I'm going to I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it nice you and could slow. Admit defeat. Ooh. Oh, she's creeping along. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, hello. It's a beautiful thing. Hello. I didn't hear any scrape. We've got automatic windscreen wipers. Let's see what yeah, happens yeah. here. There we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, I had to smash the wipers on. Did you? Cause, yeah, because yeah. I, I didn't believe them. No. I'm starting to feel this car, Johnny. There's no doubting the Jimny's holding its own thus far. But I've got to admit, I'm starting to get a tad worried about that impending mud bath. Let's get you to stand on the outside of the car. I just want to see where we're at with, with the deep depth. Because in all seriousness, you know, 
if, if it's too deep, it's too deep. Johnny, if this is some sort of a scapegoating get out of it. Right. That is the depth of that, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. whoa. That's like, yeah. Well, that's, that's over half a metre. This is only, what, 310 mil wading depth? What you're saying is, the legend that is, the Land Rover Defender has won on this challenge and therefore has won this competition. Today, in these circumstances, in that lake, yes, it has. Sadly, the Jimny had reached its limit, and I'd rather admit defeat than risk drowning it. Yet, the Suzuki has rugged 4x4 charm, mod cons and good road manners. But if you've got 20 grand to spend and want to buy something you can rely on when the going gets really tough, the Land Rover Defender is still the undisputed champion.